Hello guys, it's cooking time. And I'm cooking uh, your favorite. What is it? Binagoongang baboy. Binagoongang baboy. Alright? In so, uh, English? It's binagoongang pork. Bagoong means um, shrimp fry. So I'm putting a shrimp fry on the uh, pork. All right, so I'm starting to cook the eggplant. You just have to fry it. I cut it into small lengthwise cuts, like quarter of the, uh, the eggplant. Divide into three and quarter cut it. See, this is now how it looks. So I'm going to fry all this. I put a lot of eggplant because hubby likes eggplant. So that's how it is. It's actually like half cooked only. So I'm running out of, it's all absorbed by the eggplant. So I'll put a little of cooking oil. I'm using um, garlic. I minced it. I also minced the onions. This is a whole onions. This is like uh, six cloves of garlic. We love garlic and onions and tomatoes. I'm using two tomatoes. I have to cut the other half now. And I'm using the, the lean part of the pork. This time I used, usually I use the pork shoulder, but I couldn't get uh, pork shoulder, so I'm using the boneless ribs. This is the only available lean uh, part of the uh, pork, okay? Oh, and by the way, this is the shrimp fry. I'm pouring in cooking oil to saute the garlic and the onions. I don't have a fancy skillet. I just use the ordinary one. Doesn't matter. As long as the food is cooked, fine, right? Now I'm sauteing the garlic. Yeah, I will wait for it to turn into like a light brown. Not too brown then because you know, if it's too brown, then I think that's good. It's a little brownish now. I'll add the onions. I'm more tight on the skin. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Binagoongang baboy is good with white rice. I think this is good enough when tomato starts to peel. You know, the, the tomato skin starts to, you know, to peel. I think that's good enough. There's not really... Um, there's really no no rule on when to add the pork but as long as you see because the tomato will be cooked anyway so as long as you know it starts to peel see it's lifting now the skin so i'll add the, the pork and let it turn into like like brown or change color and then i'll add the uh, shrimp fry Is this your favorite, Dad? Maybe I'm going to turn it in 3 to 5 minutes, so I put the heat on medium. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, I turned this uh, pork, I mean, I, I mixed it with tomatoes now. Tomatoes is, tomatoes are cooked. And the pork is, uh, have changed, some have changed its color. So, a few more minutes, and I'll add the uh, bagoong. Fry. or the shrimp fry so here we are looks like the pork has uniformly changed its color so that means it's you know ready to uh, add the uh, uh, black pepper powder that's a dash a dash also of paprika this is just optional and to add a teaspoon of shrimp fry, fry. So I will not add salt yet because a stir-fried shrimp or bagoong is quite salty. So I'll wait a little bit. I'll let the wa the, um, the sauce or the water or the soup here uh, recede a little bit. It's quite a lot of water or uh, liquid in there. So here it goes. Wait for another few minutes. Tasty. 
Now I'm tasting it. Well, remember, I put in correction. It's a salted shrimp fry. It's not shrimp fry only. So that's why it's salty. I added one teaspoonful. Mmm. Perfect. So taste it according to your own taste. I mean, adjust it. So now I'm adding. The water had receded now, but I want it to have a little water. So I want to have a little sauce in there so I can put it on my rice. So here I'm adding and I will uh, let it be there for like about two to three minutes so that it will be fully cooked because some are somehow half cooked. So I'll just put it on top of it. So the steam and the pork, I mean, it will get or absorb the, the flavor. I will stir it later. Okay? Two minutes. Come. This is the finished product. So there's no much sauce in there. Just a little bit because I want some sauce on my rice. So I will plate it. So give me a few minutes. So I'm going to plate it, okay? So and I'll see, I'll show you my finished product. This is finished actually. And so I simply plate it. I'm just practicing how to plate because I'm not really a chef, but at least I plated it. All right. I hope you're all in the best of health. God bless.